Yo, what is up? This is Spice HD here. Back for another video. Today's video, we are doing round 16 of recreating every single track in Super Crash, the official video game 4. So this is the second to last round. So this is actually going to be an East Coast rights for the 250 riders. So the East Coast 250 riders have been on break for a while as the West Coast started back up again. So they'll do one more race by themselves. And then the final round, round 17, which will also be in the Rice Eccles Stadium in Salt Lake City, Utah, will be the East West shootout. So if you guys aren't familiar with how the Supercross season usually ends, Usually they do a track in Las Vegas where they have part of it go outside of the stadium real quick. But last year we were unable to do that as we had to finish the rounds out in Salt Lake City, Utah. So we're going back to the stadium to finish the two rounds just like we did last year as opposed to doing it in Las Vegas. So they're not going to be the same style as Las Vegas. They're just going to be regular Supercross tracks. So they will be racing this Saturday and then the following Saturday. So they won't do it on Tuesday just so they have enough time to change the track around. So you guys are looking at the time lapse right now. And I'm really proud of myself because I think this is probably the best track that I've made from the season. I know the past three rounds was very difficult as we didn't have a stadium that big and track editor. So to get really creative. So it felt very, very nice and satisfying to be able to fit the complete track into a stadium and have plenty of room left over. So I think I nailed this track perfectly. There's only one section where it's supposed to be like a berm going back to the start, but you couldn't really do that because that goes over the starting module. But other than that, I think it is pretty spot on. So I'm kind of in a dilemma. So I'm gonna go with Ken Roxon for the win, just because I feel like Atlanta, he feel like that got stolen from him. So I feel like he's gonna go all out and try to get a win to close up the points some more because Cooper Webb's gonna go into Salt Lake with 16 over Ken Roxon and 40 over Eli Tomac. So it's safe to say Tomac is out of the championship fight, but Roxon still has a chance if he can do good in Salt Lake. So obviously Cooper Webb did win the last Atlanta after Ken Roxon made a mistake. After having an 11 second lead, he went down in a whoops and got back up and started slowing down. And then Cooper was able to pass him and they brought it right to the finish line. So it was a really, really close race. Was not expecting that to happen at all. I was totally expecting Ken Roxon to walk away with two wins in Atlanta, but that was not the case. So that's why I think Ken Roxon is going to try and fight back hard and get a first place in Salt Lake. But I also want to say Eli Tomek is going to win. But the reason why I'm not going to go with him, just because he's out of the championship fight. So I really don't think he's going to go all out to hurt himself when he's got a motocross season coming up pretty soon. So I think really this is going to be between Ken Roxon and Cooper Webb, but who knows? I'm definitely going to change some stuff around after watching time qualifying as I'll let you guys know my other picks later in this video as the wild card is seventh place this round. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and do a lap preview of Salt Lake. All right, so this was really fast to make actually compared to the other ones. So right here with the finish line jump and it's gonna turn back and they used the start module multiple times. So we're gonna go backwards on this start module right here. We're gonna hit this 90 degree turn and then we're gonna have a double and then a triple into a 180 berm. And then right here we have one whoop section with 10 whoops. And then right at the end, there'll be a little double. They might take that out knowing them in the past, they've been known to get rid of stuff that were in whoop sections just to make it safer. And we cross back over, oh, get back on here. And then we have a super cross triple, which on the game, it's like really spaced out, but in real life, I don't think it will be like that. That was just to get it to fit. And this right here is supposed to be like a berm right here, but I couldn't really get it since it goes on the start module and it won't let me do that. So I just kept it flat. But anyways, you go back to the whole shot line and right here is like a double. You can land on here or double, hit the table, land on the back of this. I think that's what I did in a hot lap and then you would triple into this 180. And then this is the longest part of the track, which really isn't that long when you think about Atlanta. So you jump onto this table, and then you would table off, land on this single, and then hit this triple. And right here is like a triple and then single. Maybe they'll be able to quad that, but not quite sure. And then we have yet another super cross triple out on this back side. Ooh, came up short on that. And then a 180 degree berm. And then finish line jump already. So these lap times probably gonna be, I'm gonna say fastest lap time is gonna be 43 seconds. That's gonna be my estimate. 
So yeah, that was a really quick lap preview compared to the last three rounds in Atlanta. But with that being said, let's go ahead and throw in the hot lap. All right, so that was the hot lap of Salt Lake City round one in Rice Echo Stadium. So this track is obviously back to the regular Supercross style. I know that they were trying to say that the Atlantas were about the size of two and a half Supercross tracks, as there are some straights that were actually the length of previous Supercross tracks, which was insane. I thought they were going to be like Daytona times, where it's like a minute 10, minute 15 maybe, but they were up there almost two minutes long, which was Pretty crazy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my RM Fantasy Supercross picks. So first I'm gonna go with Ken Roxon and keep in mind I'm gonna watch time qualifying on Saturday and I'll probably change a lot of these around. But I'm just gonna give you guys my list for what I already have. Obviously, first place we're gonna go with Ken Roxon. Second place we're gonna go with Eli Tomac, since you know this is pretty much his home track. Third place, I'm gonna go with Cooper Webb, just cause I know he's gotta be up there in podium at least, but who knows, he might win both of these. Fourth place, Chase Sexton, kinda disappointed in how he performed in the last Atlanta. I think he was way back there. So I actually had him for second for my fantasy picks. So that was kind of a shame that he did horrible the one time I put him in second. Fifth place, I'm gonna go with Justin Barsha, just because he's still up there, but I also wanna put Jason Anderson up there. So that's kind of my dilemma as well because Jason and Justin kind of go back and forth being in that top five as of lately. And then for seventh place, I'm gonna go with Malcolm Stewart just because he actually did really good in Atlanta, which I figured so because that was like the longest whoop section we've seen as one part had 18 whoops, which was insane. So obviously we know the Stewart brothers are insane at whoops. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put him in for a seventh. I would like to see him in the top five, but just to play it safe, I'm gonna put him for my wild card as seventh. So those are my RM fantasy picks. So if you guys want to, let me know in the comments below who you're going with. Give me your top five in wild card or just give me your top three. And yeah, if you guys wanna go try out this track, it's on Xbox only on Supercross the game four. Unfortunately, it's not on the third game. Just wanna go ahead and put that out there because I know somebody asked which game I was on. So the track name is Salt Lake 1 BHD. Once again, that is Supercross Game 4 Xbox only. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys go check out the merch to help support the channel. And we're almost done with Supercross season. I have lots of video ideas coming very, very soon. I think I'm gonna wait till the season's over. So I'm going to go over the DLC and also the track contest. So make sure you guys be on the lookout for that. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.